2007 we released our last album until now and uh, as you might know we had uh, to change singers twice because uh, two girls left the band which is the original singer Lisa Mittelhauer she left in 2008 we had a replacement then pretty soon which was uh, Kerstin uh, Bischoff now Wehmeyer for those who are interested and um, unfortunately she decided to quit the band as well uh, about 15 months later and then we had to start looking for a new girl again and finally after a very very long <laughs> time of looking for a new singer we found lovely Manuela. She's been in the band now since uh, September 2010 and well more or less we started uh, fine-tuning the new songs which were already written then. Um, before that we had several tours among others, our South America tour, the first South American tour, which was very successful for us. It's not that we've been lazy all the time, but, um, well, just as I said, because we had to change singers twice, it took quite a while until we were able to record a new album. As Niels uh, told uh, in the last answer, we had uh, quite a long time to think about who we are and uh, uh, well, we found that we uh, want to be a bit harder on the next album, more heavy, more a metal band that we think we are, we have always been, but uh, in the past um, um, we had uh, producers that uh, gave us a bit to pop sound <laughs> in the productions on the last albums. So uh, this time we wanted it to be more heavy, more metal. This was the first thing and uh, the other thing was um, it uh, should be um, more um, epic, bombastic, more symphonic. More everything. <laughs> We started writing the new material or working on the new material because uh, Mark wrote about say 95% of it uh, in 2008 and um, for several reasons, for sing out changes, we, we had to, to fine tune all the material when Manuela joined the band. Then we started recording uh, the new material in July 2011. Um, parts of it were done uh, at Marco's. Uh, home studio, so to speak, where we did most of the guitars and bass recordings. The vocals were recorded in the Weltraum Studios in Munich and uh, drums and mix were done uh, by Jörg Umreich in the Principal Studios near Münster in Germany. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I think we, all of us have um, always been metal fans. Uh, we uh, come from the metal scene and we never really thought about what Xandria is, if it is a rock band or a metal band or a gothic band. Uh, we just uh, did what we wanted to and um, I, when I hear gothic I think about um, Sisters of Mercy or Fields of the Nephilim that these are gothic bands for me so I don't know if uh, if we were uh, anything else than just uh, Xandria, what we wanted to be, and not uh, really gothic or really something special. But uh, yes, uh, indeed this time it was uh, the idea to, to be more of a metal band uh, on this album. That's right. I joined the band one year ago and I saw already in February 2010 that they uh, that Xandria are searching for a new singer. Uh, well, I thought about applying but I didn't because at this time I already have been in two metal bands in Haggard and in Agormar and as am I a I'm a person that gives all her heart into what she's doing, into this music. I decided 
to go on with these pants and not to apply for Xandria. But uh, after half a year later, um, as I was not so happy in Haggard anymore and I was searching for something new, for a new experience, I uh, was talking with a friend and um, he told me that Xandria is still searching for a singer. Yes, and that was the point when I said to myself, okay, I like the music and I want to do something like this, so I applied. And then I went to the boys and got to know them and we had first rehearsals and from the first moment it felt very natural to be there and I had very much fun while singing and well after a few conversations and rehearsals they decided to take me and here I am and I'm very happy with it. <laughs> There's something special about it because the band was actually about to split because um, the girl we had in the back of our minds as our new singer, as our to be singer, she decided to uh, to tell us she's not gonna do it the very day Manuela's application arrived. And if Manuela hadn't applied for, for uh, on that special day, I think we wouldn't be here. It's true. Yeah, when I think about the uh, next album, about Never World's End, I think of it um, as something like our second debut album. <laughs> it's really the feeling I got. It's not the all new Xandria, but it's a relaunch in a way, that's true. I mean, there, there are some elements which have always been uh, part of the band. The, the, the symphonic elements, the, the strong melody hooks, and the mixture of uh, melodic female singing and, and, and heavy guitars. but. Uh, of course, for several reasons, it's a relaunch now, that's true. The true story is that it, is, um, uh, it was just a working title, um, but uh, um, when the song developed more and more, um, and I was about thinking um, to write lyrics for the song, um, I didn't want to write a, a love song, uh, because it was just too, too simple to write a love song that's called Valentine. Um, Valentine uh, had to be something more um, dark, ironic, and it's really ironic in a way because um, it's um, the business that says uh, be my Valentine to an artist, um, give your everything to us and we'll make you famous and give you money, and the song is about an artist who gives sells his soul for fast fame and money and uh, he's at the point he realizes he threw away uh, his integrity and he um, is a bit disgusted by um, himself or herself and, um, and uh, it is about the moment when this artist is about to go on stage and uh, face uh, his or her audience and um, it's a very um, a harmful, it's a very um, hard moment for this artist because uh, it's also the moment he realizes all this. It's not a concept album, but there's um, it's a theme, a topic um, that is um, spreading through most of the lyrics and uh, just um, came out uh, uh, by the writing process um, uh, when uh, I was realizing I was writing many lyrics about um, losing the world you have in, in your mind when, when you were a child uh, um, um, a picture of a world that's, uh, that's nice and everybody loves each other and everything will be fine when you are grown up, you will be a superstar, you will be James Bond, you will be a pilot, you will be whatever you like and um, when you grow older you realize that um, not all of this can happen at the same time and the world is not uh, the way you thought it would be. And uh, so Neverworld is the world of uh, 
of your fantasy in your childhood and uh, the end of this world is when you grow up and realize that it will never be. So it has never been and will never be. Go gold. Yes, definitely. <laughs> I agree with you. <laughs> and uh, sell our souls for fast fame and money. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I think uh, first we hope that uh, um, the people will like the album, that uh, people give us a chance after all these years to give Manuela a chance because she's a fantastic singer and we are, we are uh, feeling fantastic as a band now. And we hope this feeling uh, will get through to, to the people out there. And we will um, meet all of them on tour and um, hope you will enjoy it, the music and us playing the music. <laughs>